this lesson we will be discussing about how to shoe on a button we have arranged some steps for shoeing on a button step number 1 match button and thread select a suitable button and thread that matches the button the garment and any thread used to shoe on other buttons Step number 2 thread the needle if you like you can double the thread to make this job quicker simply pull it through the needle so that there is an equal length of thread extending from both side step number 3 tie a knot at the end of the thread One way to tie a knot is to wrap the thread around your finger as shown. Roll the thread between your fingers and pull it tight. If you double the thread, tie the ends together. Leave a long tail of thread. Whether you are doubling the thread or using a single thread, that way you can shoe the button. step number 4 position position the button on the fabric line the button up with the other buttons on the garment check the double hole close the opposite flap or panel where you want it and make sure that the button lines up with the button hole step number 5 push and pull push the thread needle up through the fabric and through one hole in the button pull the thread all the way through on each stitch step number 6 create some slack place a pin or toothpick across the center of the button and hold it there until the next stitch helps keep in its place when the pin is withdraw later it will allow the slack necessary to create a shank so that there will be space between behind the button for the material that will need to go there when the garment is patterned step number 7 first stitch push the needle down through the next hole and through the fabric still holding the pin in place pull the thread all the way through once that is done the pin will be kept in place by the thread in this photo the button was lifted up to show what's going there but it's best to hold the button in place so it doesn't move step number 8 going up bring the needle up through the first hole or a new hole and pull the thread all the way through the fabric step number 9 repeat repeat the shoeing process enough time to make sure the button is securely in place on four hole buttons make sure that the stitches have been made evenly so that all four holes are equally used step number 10 last stitch on the last stitch push the needle through the material but not through a hole in the button step number 11 remove the pin pull the thread out into the area between button and material remove the pin and pull up the button a little step number 12 wrap the thread six times around the thread between the button and the material to reinforce the shank you have created step number 13 push 
push the needle back down through the material. Step number 14. Secure it. Make 3 or 4 back stitches to secure the thread. Step number 15. Cut it off. Cut off the excess thread. Here we have seen the steps of shoeing on button. Thank you.